these things are too important for me to ask other people just to accept my word on it. As far as is humanly possible, we like to show everybody everything. <coughs> Until this time, we've been unable to show this bud and its analysis. But God has this on his timetable, and it will be done at the perfect time. Here, as God's last message is being given to the inhabitants of the earth, there are real angels, not just scratched uh, pictures and stones, that are taking a very active part in doing this. When I found the Ark of the Covenant in that uh, chamber, all of the furnishings had been covered by a layer of animal skins, on top of that a layer of wooden boards, and on top of that enough stones to fill the rest of the chamber up to near the roof. After I had been in there th three times, the fourth time I came in, there were four young men standing in there that if I had met them on the street, I would have seen no difference between them and anybody else. One of them said, we are the angels that have been assigned to the Ark of the Covenant, and we'll tell you what God wants to done with this, and we'll help you do what he wants done with this. Okay. They wanted me to take a sample of the blood and have it analyzed. All I had with me was a film cartridge and a pull tab from a Coca-Cola can. So I took this pull tab and, and straightened it out to make a little bit of a scoop with it. And I collected about three quarters <laughs> of that little canister full of this dried blood. We had this analyzed. We put a uh, an amount of this blood uh, in some normal saline and uh, at body temperature and we swirled this gently for 72 hours and this was part of the instructions I got from the angel when we put this in a growth medium for another 72 hours and put it under a microscope the white blood cells were dividing. We were able to get a chromosome count. There were 24 chromosomes. 23 Christ got from Mary. He got one, which was the sex determinant, or the Y, from his heavenly father, for a total of 24. All of us have 46. We get 23 from our mother and 23 from our father. Now, this blood, folks, was still alive after almost 2,000 years. The people that did the test thought I had pulled a fast one of some kind on them. Never in their lives have they ever seen any dried blood that was still alive. There's a scripture text talking about Christ. It's, it's in Psalms. It says, you will not leave my soul in hell, and neither will you let my body see corruption. So after almost 2,000 years, Christ's blood was very much alive, and still is. So, so the blood, the water, the spirit, the blood and the water, are bearing witness in the earth. And in 1 Timothy ch chapter 2, verse 6, it says, There is one God, here between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for us to be testified of in due season. Now, I don't know if Paul knew what he was saying when he was inspired to write that or not. I don't know if Timothy understood that when he read it. I understood the first part, but I did not really understand the part about being testified. Now, testified means testimony or evidence okay do you see the connection in other words what it said there is when God is ready the proof will be given 
and you and I are living in that time. Now there are people that do not accept that I have found this. And I am quite aware that if the blood of Jesus on the mercy seat doesn't reach out and get them where they live, we have not presented enough physical evidence to convince anybody. Now then, you remember the experience uh, of Thomas uh, when Christ appeared in the upper room after his resurrection. For some reason, he wasn't there on the first uh, occasion that Christ appeared. He was there on the second occasion that Christ appeared to these people, and Christ addressed him directly, and he told Thomas to come and put his fingers in the wounds and his hand in the side. He did not condemn Thomas for asking for proof. In fact, he said, blessed are you because you have seen and you have believed, because Thomas said, my Lord and my God. None of that was by accident, folks. There are those of us who needed to hear this story of what Thomas did. Just word of the blood of Jesus on the mercy seat is quite sufficient for some. But God had us do the analysis and he will have us show all of this on video at the proper time. Just like he allowed Thomas to make certain it was him. Christ said of Thomas, blessed are you because seeing you have believed. More blessed are, are they who will believe who have not seen. Yeah. That, of course, is referring to all of us until we get to actually see the blood of Jesus on the mercy seat. Well, that's it. Satan is desperate to steal this wonderful truth from all of us. So we have people who respond to the voice of Satan who are saying many things against this. But of all of the people that are sharing this now, God is preparing a large number of people so that when we can present this and everybody can see it, there will be a large number of people that God can send these people to to help them find out what the truth is and what changes they must make in their lives in order to comply with the requirements of God. Now the Bible says, God says, my word will not return unto me void, but it will accomplish the thing whereunto it was sent. It's the same thing is true of his archaeological treasures and his blood, his son's blood on the mercy seat. It will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. None of you are here by accident today. God has brought you here because he wants to use you to bear witness of these things. He has provided quite enough physical evidence for a great deal of very convincing uh, presentation of truth. And he will provide enough information for those who have responded to this so that they might have a knowledge of the sacrifice of Jesus, the blood on the mercy seat, and the fact that we have been redeemed by the blood of the Son of God. The Bible says, walk in the light while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. So if we respond to the light that God gives us step by step, He will provide enough to get us into the kingdom with our families and loved ones and others that he can use us to bear a saving witness to. So if you say a little prayer and move along, there's some other people that want to see this place. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you for your precious Son and our precious Savior, Jesus. We desire more than our next breath or heartbeat to have you come into our lives and to accomplish your will and purpose in and through us. Please help us to learn, remember, and share with others in a humble, caring manner everything that you want us to know and be able to share. And please don't let anyone be lost that you can use us in any way to help them come to you and be saved. In Jesus' name and by his blood we pray. Amen. Amen.